It is. It is Sir Sterling Moss on the start line here in his Mercedes Benz number 722 that won the 1955 Millimilia race in Italy. Uh, and uh, I hope, Toby, you'll be able to tell me, have we a repeat of the quartet of Sorry. Mercedes stars? Do we have Sterling Moss, Jochen Maas, Klaus Ludwig and Hans Hermann Absolutely. running in formation? Absolutely, Henry. You're Ooh. on the money as always. Sterling Moss is just waiting on the start line. It's Klaus Ludwig in second to go up the hill with the Ullenhout Coupe. Fourth in line is 658, Jochen Maas at the wheel and then Hans Hermann himself at the rear with 704. Can you imagine these cars blasting down the long straight roads on the way from Bologna down south towards Florence and then a little bit further on back up to then Brescia in 1955 at speeds of well over, well, what, 150 miles an hour plus? Wonderful stuff. I, I just hope there are hundreds of you taking photos of this time warp moment. Sir Sterling Moss, Mr. Motor Racing, the most famous racing driver in the world. Uh, I think that is without doubt um, a, a truism. And here he is waving to the crowd past us into Malcolm. Uh, Marcus Pye, um, I, I don't know about you, but I feel deeply privileged just to be able to talk about it. Absolutely. And Sterling Moss, 85 years old now and uh, lapping up every uh, moment of this uh, fabulous weekend here at uh, Goodwood where his batting average on the uh, on the racetrack greater than any other competitor yeah started his career here didn't he at the motor circuit back in the in the late 40s won all those tourist trophy for Aston Martin and for Ferrari but one at the motor circuit on the opening day in September 1948 in the 500 cc race absolutely wonderful and uh, he would have been what 19 years of age sure I yeah. mean he was yeah, a, a young lad Jochen Maas, the great Mercedes racer, winner of the 1975 Spanish Grand Prix at Monhuich Park, that uh, treacherous road course uh, high in the hills above Barcelona. He won that for McLaren when he was James Hunt's teammate in the Marlborough McLaren Cosworth machines. He went on to win Le Mans for Sauber Mercedes in 1989. Sterling Moss, good morning to you. Sunday morning at Goodwood. Are you transported back 60 years to the Mille Miglia, 1955, the 722 Mercedes, such an epic car, but tell us about the event. Well, the event was amazing because the first car went at 9 o'clock at night and then every half minute intervals until midnight, then at midnight they went at minute intervals, I went at 722 and I still got other cars behind me, so you're talking about a lot of motor cars, you know, a few hundreds of them, and uh, when I think about it, only in Italy could this happen. You know, I mean, the, the whole country, you know, took the day off work and went out and drove forty different cars, and it was fantastic. But the, I mean, a road course, a thousand miles, difficult roads, but of course, overtaking to be managed as well. But you also need to know which way the corners went. You had Dennis Jenkinson alongside, yeah. and what a partnership that was. Well, J Jenks, had, I think it's actually John Fitch suggested it, but anyway, Jenks made out this this role. Uh, which we call the Lou Roll, with just ev about everything that he needed to know. So he was able, when I was going up, say, a long incline into what appeared to be a village, he could tell me, right, flat out, or watch it go left or whatever, and, and gave me hand signals over here as I could sort of see out of the corner of my eye. I've heard a story that um, some Italian women were, were, were heard relating that you completed the event with a small monk alongside you who was just reading chapters from the Bible. Yes, well, I don't think... <laughs> I don't think James was exactly a mug because I think he was an atheist, actually, but it didn't stop us winning, which is good news. You're right. But just to explain, a thousand miles and it took you precisely how long? It took uh, 10 hours, 3 minutes and 7 seconds, I think. And, and uh, I must say that when I look back and think about it, uh, you need a car like this. I think the 300 SLR Mercedes, unbelievable machine. I mean, it's not, not just its sheer power, but the, the availability of the power and the way you could control it on the throttle. This was built for the job and they did it. And here we are, there were nine built, eight exist, and seven of them are here at the Festival of Speed. It's a, an astonishing assembly. That has never happened before, I don't think. We're so lucky. You know, Charles gets something very special, doesn't he, here? That's the point. Every single year, and Sterling, you're part of the special part of the show. Long may you continue to come here. Thank you very much. See you next year. Ciao.